already been endorsed by Ann Romney and other top Republicans and is looking to become the very first African-American Republican woman ever to serve in Congress. Utah congressional candidate Mia Love, welcome to the program. Good to see you. Hello, Sean. How are you? I appreciate you being here. Uh, you know, it's interesting because she keeps talking about throwing the middle class under the bus. All Republicans are saying is something that Barack Obama himself said, which is you don't raise taxes in a slow economy or a recession, period. And the Democrats aren't mentioning that they want to raise taxes on the middle class on top of, of course, Obama's you know, health care plan, which is the largest tax increase ever. Well, I think what they're doing is really throwing all of the American people under the bus because if they continue to push on with this tax increase, which is these are the people that provide jobs, what they're doing is they're taking the poor, they're taking everyone who's working, and they're throwing them under the bus by not allowing them to have a job. Ninety-four percent of the businesses in the state of Utah are small businesses. What happens if we continue to impose tax upon tax and impose this Obamacare uh, tax on them? What's going to happen to the people that are working for these companies? They will no longer have a job. Yeah, you see, I think Patty Murray blinks. I think, I think the Democrats blink because they know tax increases are not popular. And I think that mm -hmm. this is part of their class warfare strategy. Now, the president made this comment about small business. It's, it's made a lot of headlines. And I think it's really important because it tells a lot about his belief system. Let me play you this. If you were successful, somebody along the line gave you some help. There was a great teacher somewhere in your life. Somebody helped to create this unbelievable American system that we had that allowed you to thrive. Somebody invested in roads and bridges. If you got a business, that, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. You didn't build that? Who built that? <laughs> who built that business? Who worked? Who invested? Who took risk in the hope of reward? Who, what is he talking about there? You know, Sean, my parents came to this country with $10 in their pockets. They work hard to achieve the American dream. And if I am here as the mayor of my city, that I'm able to support and, and serve in my city and be the Republican nominee, it's because of the hard work of my parents who have been able to sacrifice so I can achieve the goals that I have today. And that's what the American dream is about. It's not about federal government. The hope and change he talks about lies in federal government. The hope and change we would like to see happen lies in people. Yeah, they didn't get any tarp money. You know, all this president does is every day he's trashing small business. You know, the job creators, the backbone of this country. You mentioned your family. Uh, I've been using mm -hmm. Ancestry.com and, and I found out my, uh, my grandfather landed in Ellis Island in 1901, $40 in his pocket. 1940, he only made $600 for the year, the entire year. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, everybody that I know that has a small business, they all took a risk. They, it, se it seems like he doesn't respect this, the, the risk that these entrepreneurs are taking. So how do Republicans counter that? Well, what we have to do, I believe that we have to make the moral case. I think that we, we talk about facts and figures all the time, and yes, they back up what we're saying. But I think we need to talk about the fact that we are literally stealing from our children to pay for the present. We're stealing from the future to pay for the present. These children that grow up and say, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a teacher, they won't have the same opportunities that we've had because they're going to have the $16 trillion debt looming over their heads. They're not going to have the same opportunities to start uh, to start a business because they're going to have all of this regulation they're going to have complete unpredictability if we continue go, to go in this direction when it comes right. to uh, taxes and and providing for uh, having the assets that they need to start their business yeah all the best in your campaign appreciate you being with us tonight from Salt Lake thank you Sean appreciate it